Indeed. I mean, God created us in the image and likeness of him. Some people, I don't know why, humanity is slowly getting out of them, away from that. Already residents have had enough, and their anger over the rising insecurity in the region was witnessed on Wednesday morning when they took to the streets to protest. The demonstrations were fueled by the murder of a watchman last night. On the fateful night, another watchman was left nursing life-threatening injuries as unknown thugs made away with a property worth 450,000 Kenyan shillings. <laughs> Demonstration rocked to Ready Trading Center this morning as hundreds of residents blocked the busy Kisimi Gori Highway, protesting the killing of a watchman by a non thugs. The watchman, Mr. Joram Gavaga, was attacked and slaughtered at Comrade Bar last night, while his colleague Owino Ondego was seriously injured and rushed to Migori County Referral Hospital for treatment. The bar manager, Mr. Nathaniel Odipo, told the press at the scene of the attack that the thugs also stole five television sets, cash money, all worth 450000 The security of Riri County is worse. It's very horrible. I don't know what I can say. That's what I can say. I'm so annoyed. I said, mm, even my work, even I really empathize even with my boss. Because this, this... It's a lot of money. Police had rough time controlling the crowd who accused them of harassing peaceful members of the public instead of fighting crime in the area. However, Uriri Deputy County Commissioner Monica Kangede asked the demonstrator to calm down, saying all was being done to apprehend the thugs. <laughs> Uriri Business Community Group Secretary Elisha Okola claimed that insecurity has been rising in the area because the police who are supposed to protect the people were only busy fighting Chang'a businesses and members of the public walking without face masks. The incident caused a heavy traffic jam as the visibly angry protester called on the government to transfer all the police officers at the local police station in what they termed as inept to deal with the rising crime in the area. Frida Mapenzi, KUTV. Thank you, Frida Mapenzi, for that. Now, tonight, we'll bring you the story of Juliana Chebor, a reformed FGM cutter in Mount Elgon region, who was fetted, by, uh, was fetted as a hero by President Uru Kenyatta during...